Hey y'all, what's up fams? Alright, trying not to look too, too crazy. Today was a crazy day. Today is November 15th of 2022. Today it is approximately four years today since I've been natural. Yeah, four whole years. I recently took my twist out because tomorrow, of course, is wash day Wednesday. I don't believe I have any new products that I want to show y'all this week, except for one, and you'll get that, and we'll talk about that when it comes. Who today, y'all, they had me on them phones, so this is that Snoop Doggy Dog Wine, the 19 Crimes Cali Rose. Yeah. I had a little snack about... 30 minutes ago, so hopefully this don't be as strong as it was on the first initial tasting on Friday. That shit was strong on Friday. I was like, damn. Mm. It's still strong. <laughs> um, what I wanted to talk about today simply was Yes, the fact that it's four years natural. You can see the different textures. Like, I've always felt like in here is like the 4C and maybe at the top and stuff like that is more 3, is more 4B, sorry. And then maybe like these tighter spots at the back and right here and maybe like right here-ish, but up top. And all of this is 4B. So if I had to be, I say it's multi-textured. I don't think there's any part on my hair that is a three type nothing. I'm fully, fully natural as y'all can see. Now there might've been some parts that might've gotten looser due to some heat damage that I might have suffered in August and I've been using the Carl Smith Bond Rehab to repair it. I'm trying to keep the energy up. It's just been a very long ass day. They had me on the phones. So pretty much whenever they put me on the phones, you are gonna get whatever type of energy the phones gave. I'm glad I had nicer callers that got to the point, but it's just like, I always have to prepare myself for the bullshit. Because if I just go on the phone, it's like, oh, it's going to be a wonderful day. That might be the day that I have a fucked up ass call or some fucked up calls. The callers today, they were, you know, they ain't work my nerves. And no, I did not have a call at no 4.56 or 4.59. I made sure at 4.50, I went and took a break. Okay, and I did not come back until it was time to go. <laughs> like, fuck that. If they'd have called at 4.45, even if they'd have called at like 4.50, I'd have still possibly took the call. But I say 4.45 because the way they want us to document sometimes, you're going to need like a good six, seven minutes. And depending on how much information they tell you, it could be like a nine or ten minute call and then you're gonna need a little extra time to document to make sure that it's damn near perfect <laughs> so you don't get um in trouble or they ding you which is like give you a little error because oh you took the call but you didn't do this right or you didn't say that right that's why i don't like being on the phones because it's like you're not going to tell me what to say like how oh this is how you're supposed to say it no what they said is the way i documented it and i moved it along but it don't be people in my team it be like certain nitpicky people and i want to say who it be but i feel like i'll say it'd be not all but some of the pharmacists not all, but you have certain pharmacists that get error happy. And so they just be giving out errors for any damn thing. And you're like, 
did you take the time to really look at this? Is this a real error or this is a your preference? Because I file a procedure, but because you have a preference of how you want it to look, you give me an error. So I'm like, damn that. If it's an instructions on this is what we must document, then I'm going to put what the instruction says. To hell with your damn preference. Take that and do what the fuck you want with it. That's what we really want to say as pharmacy technicians. <laughs> but we can't always say that. <laughs> so today, I am glad that the callers were all nice. The last one I had really was nothing I can do. I had to transfer that, so I don't be mad about that. The ones that irk my nerves is when they have an attitude because the the ones that I don't like is when a doctor's office submit stuff at the last damn minute after we've been asking them and then they get mad if we denied it. Like, well, why did you deny it? We gave you seven days, okay? Normally we have 72 hours, but you had an additional four days on top of the 72 hours to give us the information. Or if you wanted it urgent, you should have sent this urgent three days ago. Don't come rushing us to do this urgently now. You should have sent it in originally urgent. Because if we touch it and we change it to urgent, we're out of compliance. And that that we're not going to ever go out of compliance. <laughs> but that's enough about work. What I've learned these last four years of being natural... I'll admit, when I first, my first year of being natural, my hair was not out like this. I didn't even do it. I fully transitioned. <laughs> That's the backstory. One day, I'm going to show y'all my different hairstyles, all the pictures that I did. Because you're not going to see any videos from my first year natural. You're just not going to see it. Okay, I wasn't even in a good headspace that first year. I got pictures of the different styles. So that's what you're going to see for the first whole year. It's all the different styles. When Corona happened, or shall I say the Rona, that's when I stopped protective styling. And that's when I started doing my hair to learn it. Hell, that's when we all had to. If we wasn't before, we had to like, what? I gotta actually go do this shit? Damn you, Rona. And the Rona taught me some things about my hair, such as stuff I thought I loved when I was relaxed, my natural hair I don't like, and stuff I thought I was gonna hate, my natural hair is like, it's okay. I will say my natural hair is picky. <laughs> it is picky. So... It could be here today, gone tomorrow. I might like it this year, might hate it next year. It's changing. As it's growing, it's changing. But there are certain staples I loved when I was relaxed that you that my hair loves now that I'm natural. And you're going to keep seeing those in empties. If you don't see it every single year, you're going to see it in the future. And that's the Manuka Honey and Mafura oil deep conditioner by shea moisture hair loves that that's gonna stay in the stash in some form way or fashion <laughs> the cream of nature straight from eden oil uh, cream of nature straight from eden shampoo couldn't find the conditioner this year but you're gonna see that a lot in rotation those two my hair loves those are staples the shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie Hair been loving that since 2017. Those three that I'm naming, my hair has been loving that since 2017 when I was still relaxed around this time. And you're going to keep seeing them in rotation. The Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo Conditioner and Deep Conditioner. I don't have those, but you, in my collection right now, I finished them last year. If you go watch my 2021 empties, they were in there. And they're going to keep being in the future. I just don't have them right now. So those are some examples of products that I've been loving. Grease. you yeah, always going to see a grease <laughs> in my stash. I, for whatever reason, I don't know why I stopped for a little minute with grease. Because 
The natural hair police has this way of telling you what to do with your hair and what you cannot do. They say you're supposed to section your hair when you wash it. I don't do that. I They say, oh, some say you're supposed to pre-poo. Some say you are not supposed to pre-poo. I agree with the pre-pooing part. I pre-poo, okay? Some say, oh, you're supposed to co-wash only. <laughs> I'm going to sip my wine on that. <laughs> Pause. To those that do co-wash their hair and co-wash only and they get great results and they found a cleansing co-wash that not only washes their hair, cleans it but it, but it conditions too and it's a good conditioning co-wash if it works for you wonderful I'm not going to judge you on that because you found something that works and you actually do what works for you. So this, what I'm going to say is it's not aimed at y'all that only co-wash and your hair loves it. I'm not talking to you, this, this next comment. I'm talking to the ones that wants to tell you, you should only co-wash your hair. Don't use shampoo. And they don't even do that. But they got the nerve to tell you what to do with your hair. If you feel the need to tell me to do something to my hair that you don't even do to your own hair, I'm going to say like this. You need to shut the fuck up. Yeah, I said it. Okay. Normally, I'm a nice person. But to the natural hair police that don't even do half the shit that they want us naturals to do, but they want to police everything and they want to tell you oh don't listen here motherfuckers i shampoo my hair when you see a car wash in my stash i'm not using it to wash my hair i'm not using it like a car wash is supposed to be used i'm using it because it has slipped and i'm using that like a pre-poo when i don't feel like getting a pre-poo because to be honest some of the pre-poos are only if I can't find the pre poos I love and I see a co-wash and I'm like, it looked like it's got slip, I'm using that to detangle my hair and to pre-poo my hair. Then I'm going to rinse that shit out. Then I'm going to shampoo. I will always shampoo. Now to those that never, ever shampoo their hair that has been co-washing for years, but their hair might be limp, dull, or they don't know what's going on with it, you might need to clarify every now and then. It could be one at once every month. It could be once every two months, once every three months. Depending on your routine, everybody's routine is different. So that statement that I made about those go washing, you know, it only applies to the ones that want to tell you what to do to your hair, but no damn well they're not going to do it to theirs. So you're not going to tell me what to do with my hair and you don't do it your own damn self. That's called being a hypocrite. And the, to those that are hypocrites, stay the fuck out of people's business. People going to do what works for them. Okay? Even though I don't understand the whole co-wash thing and I don't believe I ever will understand that you only supposed to co-wash your hair, I'm not with that. I shampoo over here. I shampoo once a week. Okay? To those that have to wash their hair more than once a week, that's because their routine is a bit more strenuous. They may use more products. They may be doing more videos. I bet your ass to those that be doing a bunch of different styles and trying the different products. I guarantee you they wash their hair more than once a week. <laughs> I guarantee you they do because they're switching up the styles and they're trying new products. And you cannot style your hair on top of product buildup. So you need to use something that's going to thoroughly clean your hair. If it's a co-wash that works for you and thoroughly gets your hair and scalp clean, use it. If it's a shampoo that uses that gets your hair thoroughly clean, use it. In my case, a co-wash don't work on my hair. I've tried to. 
don't work. And I've tried, and so I, I've just said, you know what? <laughs> What's the point of a co-wash? I'm just going to use this as a pre-poo. So I have used them as pre-poos. Shampooing is the only thing that thoroughly gets my hair clean. If I don't see a suds, bubbles, I, I'm like, my hair's not clean. I need suds. I need bubbles. I need to see that dirt run down. When I look down after washing my hair, I want to see dirty water in the tub. That's how I know all that dirt that came out of my hair is at the bottom of the tub or at the bottom of the shower because I done cleaned my hair. And that's how I know it's clean. A car wash, I don't believe I'm going to get a good enough clean. I like a deep, bubbly, sudsy clean. If there's no suds, I don't care. My hair is not clean. It ain't suds and right, so it's not clean. <laughs> now, back then, I would normally go shampoo straight into deep conditioning. The way this hair tangles, just me touching it might cause a tangle, as you can see. Look at this, okay? Look at how it's looking. Look at the curl pattern. Look at all of this, okay? You see this gel or edge control? So why would I co-wash that? To those that can co-wash it and get a good clean, get a good cleanse, go right ahead and do that. I can't. I need to shampoo. <laughs> Just me touching it may cause a tangle or some fragileness. So after I shampoo, I now use a conditioner. I didn't think I needed to condition. I thought I could just shampoo, then deep condition, and then go about my business. Because a lot of people detangle with the deep conditioners. No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to shampoo my hair. Then I'm going to follow up with a moisturizing but detangling rinse out conditioner. Get, get that out the way. Just go on, get it out the way. And then I'm going to deep condition. The only thing I want to do with my deep conditioner is scoop it up, emulsify, apply, trap that heat in, sit under my deep conditioning heat cap, let that rinse that, okay, my handy dandy towel, hair towel. Once I do that, put the leave-in on, trap the leave-in in with an oil, style, and go about my business, okay? And that's what I do. And I use the rose water to start the process of me detangling my hair when I pre-poo. And I also use the rose water. I like to spray a little bit, like, after I've let my hair sit a little bit and get semi-dry, not completely, I'll use the rose water to rehydrate my hair and stuff. So you, it's all about a routine. I've maintained this hair. I didn't even think a bonding treatment was necessary. And then I started seeing more research. So it's certain things you grow, you grow as you go. And it's certain things you learn about. Like, okay, I didn't know this last year because I didn't know last year. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> or the year before that. So... Mm. it is what it is so this is basically everything I've learned while being four years natural it's a blessing there have time, been times that I'm like Lord I don't know can I still do this do I want to give up I have to break my routine up <laughs> so I get up very early in the morning or or what I might do is do my hair as close to midnight as possible or as soon as it get midnight on Wednesday, do start washing or rinsing out my pre-poo. I'll let my pre-poo sit on, break down, then start washing it, conditioning it. Once I put the deep conditioner on, I'm going to sleep with that bad boy on, okay? A lot of us do that, and they say we shouldn't, but shit. I do. It works for me. I let it sit on for hours. I don't have no issues with that. And then I put that heat cap on to reinforce it. Once I do that, rinse it out, and then, you know, I pretty much follow up with the rest of my routine with the hair towel, styling it, and all of that. That's been my routine. 
Um, as a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to go put my pre-poo on right now. Eat me some dinner, watch a few movies, and then when it gets that time, then, you know, I've already mostly detangled, got all the shed hair out. I don't even want to show y'all how much shed hair I got. It was kind of embarrassing, so that is what it is. But all right, that was just my three years. Nope. <laughs> Damn it, my four years of me being natural. I don't always say the right things, but y'all know what the fuck I mean. So, don't ever let anybody tell you what's right for your hair. Do what works for you. And to the natural hair police, fuck y'all. Because half y'all asses don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. And y'all be trying to tell people, no oils, no butters, no this and that. If oil and butter works for you, use it. If, it, if you just want to try it and you realize your hair doesn't need oils and butters, then do that. But don't let nobody convince you of doing something to your hair that they want you to do to your hair that they don't even do to theirs and then it's detrimental. Like, you're not going to tell me, oh, use this. You must do that. Then I try it and that shit don't work. Because first of all, I'm going to be like, why did I listen to that stupid ass? And second of all, what? you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So, that's pretty much it. I'm going to finish this last little gulp of wine and... Start the process with this hair. <clears throat> Me and this hair. Four years, y'all. I thought I would be right here. I thought my shrinkage would be here. But as you see, even with this being, even with me taking out my twist, the shrinkage is still damn real. Hopefully I have more shrinkage than this next year. Or shall I say, hopefully it grows to like right here next year. That would be my five-year wish for this fro to touch my shoulders. <laughs> Wishful thinking. It might happen in seven or eight years because this shrinkage, this shrinkage is real and it can be brutal. But this is really the end of this. Talk to y'all later. Bye, fams. Love y'all.